Never have your BMW be too hot or too cold inside again. With BMW's remote start, you can make it just right. BMW didn't come out with its remote start kit until iDrive 7, so many vehicles made for the US from 2019 and newer might have this as an option. It's a great feature to have to warm your car up on a cold day or to cool it down on a hot day. Just a quick reminder, if you want to learn more about the products we offer and more tips and tricks about BMWs, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to ring that bell. Unfortunately, our friends across the pond may not have this feature due to idle laws and regulations. To get it in the US, you have to order your BMW with this option through your local BMW dealer. If you are not the original owner, to check if your car is equipped with remote start, look up the remote engine start option in your premium package or in the settings of your iDrive submenu. If you do have remote start, here's how to activate it. In your iDrive system, go to Car and then enter Settings. Once there, navigate to Climate Comfort and select Preconditioning slash Ventilation. The Remote Engine Start option will pop up for activation. There are three ways to remotely start your BMW. One with the BMW Connected Drive app, or you could use a BMW factory key fob or a BMW display key. The app is best if you're not near your vehicle because you could start it from anywhere. If you're using the key fob, you're gonna to wanna to press the lock button three times to start it and then three times to turn it off. And if you forget to turn it off, your BMW will turn itself off in 15 minutes. What if you do have remote start and it stops working? Here are some quick troubleshooting tips. Make sure all of your windows are up and your sunroof is closed. Make sure all of your doors are closed and locked. Make sure your parking brake is engaged. Make sure your gas tank is filled at least halfway. Make sure you have no check engine lights. If you've recently had a software update, double check your iDrive settings to make sure it wasn't deactivated by default. For more tips and tricks about BMWs and how Beamer Tech can help you with your ride, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching.